Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Cancer and Sagittarius a relationship. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on in this relationship. I'm going to pull individual energy for Cancer. <sighs> That's so annoying. And then I'll pull individual energy for Sagittarius and then we'll go ahead and get into the read. We're going to go now. Guys, visit me, Wacky Mo, W-A-C-K-Y-M-O-E on Twitter and Zen Romance Tarot on Twitter and TikTok, okay? You can also email me, Wacky Mo. Oh, was that one? No, that's the other page. There's Zen Romance Tarot 2 because they hacked one. You can send them there because I, I have access to it now. So uh, Zen Romance Tarot at Gmail or Zen Romance Tarot 2 at Gmail or you can just hit me up on Twitter. You can inbox me, whatever. It's cool. All right. Guys, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. Like, share, subscribe, please, because you know I'm shadow banned for whatever reasons. Uh, you got all these readers out here for some reason. And I'm a hand show, like I said before. So for some reason, it came out to me. All to be revealed, right? All right. So let's go and see what's up. Uh, Cancer, give me your individual energy in this relationship with Sagittarius, please. Oh. The Chaser. Cancer, it says Chaser in a codependent relationship. Fear of abandonment. Just saying that you have an issue with abandonment. For someone, Cancer, you could be chasing Sagittarius here, right? Feeling like you're going to be abandoned, which is why I feel the need to chase after you. Now, I know sometimes you don't treat me the greatest, but I still feel the need to... Chase after you. We have seduction that comes out reversed here. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. Oh my goodness. Some of you guys are chasing because you fear somebody's going to come after your Sagittarius. All right. If we're looking at this from the perspective of love, because when I look at this read, I see other things that we have to get into also. And again, I apologize for the tone of the reads. I apologize that this is the energy showing up. So. You know, I can either be frank with it or I can dress it up. And I don't think you guys want me to dress it up. So there's something about seduction here. I feel like, Cancer, you could be afraid that somebody's coming in between you and your Sagittarius. And you don't like how it feels. And it also feels here, I feel like there's this energy where I don't... I don't want you to leave me. So I know... I feel like this is done out of insecurity in some cases. But we also have the Phoenix. So Cancer, it goes on to say that... You're looking for a new phase, and I feel like it's not happening for you. You're chasing somebody here who you are afraid somebody else will seduce. So that seems like a deep-rooted insecurity, but the phoenix, there's no growth. You don't have a changed mind. It says you want what you want. Although you know you can't renew something here, although you know there's no new phase, you didn't change your mind. you rather stay in the same cycle. I'm going to leave that reverse for you. One more. Now, karmic relationship comes out reverse for you. Fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. Some of you guys, you are letting this go or you need to. I feel like you guys are chasing a karmic relationship and I feel like you don't want to let go of this person no matter how bad they treat you. It actually comes up in the text. So there's something with the chaser. I'll put this here and I'm glad I chose the small ones. That way I can fit them. We have seduction coming out reverse. I feel like Somebody's going to try and seduce you. So therefore, you don't trust your person if you feel that way. Or you know something inside you that says my person might be a little bit shady here. And I know that this person is susceptible to this, that, and the other thing, right? So that's the energy that I'm getting for you over here. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at Sag. Sag, give me your energy in this relationship with Cancer, please. I'm going to shuffle this up. Give me your energy in this relationship. Guys, please keep in mind, I don't know you, right? And I know we're on YouTube, but I'm sure if I sat down, if I saw y'all walking in the mall, I would know you. You know, for the folks who don't show their faces, but I mean, for the, and then on top of that, knowing who I am, I don't pay attention anyway. I was living free. Oh, well, no. I ain't never been free, right? But I had the illusion of freedom. <laughs> But I'm awakened to the truth, so I can't really hide all the stuff that happened. It's all in the funny. It's all on video. I'm telling you guys, if this is an experiment, this must be. It, yes, it is heinous. Yes, it is tragic. But this must be one of the most easiest cases. It. 
it's got to be so easy for them to figure this one out because like for the last I don't know how many years I've always had shows out by 1157 IP address always at work so it's just uh, so this you have to find it as sad as it everything is going on in my life right now which I accept it it is what it is I have got to be the easiest case study because of my location <laughs> because of discipline <laughs> look at that who knew that would work they just knew why we know it I know now listen, brother, so so I'm gonna need you to go over there and get them pictures now. I know she leaving. I know she doing good job. If you don't worry about what's going on in your house, all right, you need to worry about covering up your ish. You scared of me for a reason. You shut. Aye. Alright, Sag, let's see what's going on. Whoever that was for. Take it all resonates. If I was talking to you, you know it when you feel it, because I said it and you jumped back. Hey, what? Tell me I'm lying, sir, ma'am. I'm kidding, y'all. Sagittarius, give me your energy in this relationship with Cancer. Please give me your energy, please. Ascending. I'm transcending obstacles. I'm learning. I'm expanding. It's a new phase in my life, and I'm preparing for union. This Sagittarius in this relationship is saying, and it did because I did another read before this, they want to take something to the next level. They're preparing for union, whether it be with you or without you now right this is the energy coming up in love this is where they are now i feel like all going on here has to do with the background or something like that the background to the story sag give me more energy in this relationship with cancer i know you're ascending i know you're preparing for union for some of you guys sag you don't even know your cancer is like insecure you don't know that they're stuck in a psycho karmic relationship we're gonna see if the karmic that they're stuck with in the soul and the mind is with you or is it some other karmic because karmics be like showing up off the soulmate some of you guys are like um you're not my soul i'm preparing for union but you're not my soulmate soul connection is no connection here i have let go of this partnership this agreement this contract is over you are not my soulmate i am looking i'm preparing for union but i know it's not with you says sagittarius to cancer give me more of what's going on here what's going on i'm preparing for union but not with you seduction i'm chasing you because i feel like somebody else is going to take you from me says cancer to sag Wedding rings, mm, union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, and everlasting promise. So somebody here, Sagittarius, it says here that you are transcending obstacles, preparing for union. But if we jump ahead, it says union, wedding, married, like you got married. So the question is, Sag, did you marry cancer knowing that they were not your soulmate? Or are you preparing for marriage to somebody and you're like, I accept that cancer's not my soulmate, but I want to get married, right? Give me one more. Like you still, like you have not let go of the idea of love or what love is. You haven't let it go, but you also acknowledge for some of you guys that cancer's not your soulmate more. We also have here house at, wait, house of cards, whatever that, hand of cards. This is reversed here. Some of you guys are not going to take a chance. I'm not going to take a risk. There's no need for me to be strategic, plan something. But for some of you guys, you also feel like you don't have any other options, right? It says here, not showing my hand. I have options, but I'm not showing my hand. I'm gambling. I'm playing with you and I'm playing with somebody else. That may not have worked for you. For some of you guys, this did not work. For some of you guys, you married somebody that you knew wasn't your soulmate and it wound up being a karmic relationship. But for... Some people might say you're the love of their life when you really a karmic. Like, and the thing is, even if you get into the text, like two if two people in the same relationship have very different stories and perspectives about. Oh, you were my everything. Oh my goodness, this person was my worst nightmare. So you could think you somebody's love, and they turn around. But you know, given the situation, you know, if they about to be humped up with somebody else, of course they're gonna say some f stuff. Which is what happened here. If you want the truth, okay, give me the common energy between these two. Because I still feel like Sagittarius is gambling. They're gambling here. They're transcending obstacles. It looks like they want to expand something. They're preparing for union, but it doesn't necessarily seem righteous or upright. The butterfly, both you guys, reverse. Relationship is not evolving, right? Not going to the next phase. There's not going to be any healing, and there can't be any growth in this. I feel like Sag, at least, is on their way to somebody else. But I still feel like Cancer could be chasing a relationship to that's considered karmic. Because they fear that the Sagittarius in this scenario 
is going to go off with somebody else, be susceptible to all different types of things. And if you get into the character of the Sag in this read, it kind of looks that way. However, it could also be energy projected from other people, right? Third parties, people that can't let go, crazy people, people you don't know, the people across the street, the people up the street. It could be anybody, right? It could be literally anybody, right? So anybody can throw energy at a relationship. I don't, I don't like them together. Uh-uh. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sprinkle some salt, whatever they be doing, whatever. So in any case, Cancer. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with you. As I get into this relationship, I see here that maybe we have a Sagittarius who's playing the game and we have Cancer who is still chasing. I know that you could possibly cheat on me. You know, your booty too big. Everybody going to look at it. Insecurities makes, that's what you act like this for. All right. I will tell you this though, and I, I don't want, uh, I might mention that later. I don't even know if I want to go. I don't want to go there so early in a read though, but we're going to get into it. Cancer, your energy coming up in this read. You guys have the eight of swords here. The cards are saying that there's tension in this relationship, right? The cards are saying that you are conscious of the choices available to you. So the cards are suggesting that you have a couple of choices that are available to you, whether this be love or business partnership. I feel like when I get into this piece of it, I feel like we're, we're, we're looking at some sort of a business partnership, right? I feel like there aren't very many emotions here. There seems to be more worry and burden than anything. But then I look at what the common energy is and it makes me think something else. So with the Eight of Swords here, this tension growing in this relationship, you know that there's a choice that needs to be made. I feel like you guys are trapped in this relationship or trapped by connection, trapped by a partnership, you guys could be the face of a partnership, right? That may be crumbling or something like that. I feel like you guys have already experienced some issues within this dynamic. The cards are saying that there are some things that have gone wrong in the past for you, Cancer. Which makes me think I could, I don't want to say I understand anything because I think the Sag just shows up in this read as a vicious mother, something vicious. Like, you play with me vicious type of thing, right? So, Cancer, I see that you are the chaser here, but I also see that you guys have faced some issues, right? I feel like there are issues that stem from money to family to affairs, to paperwork, whatever. But the cards are saying here, whatever is wrong, because there's something already wrong, whatever is already wrong is how it reads, can only get worse. The cards are saying here that there's a very, very tough time approaching for you. And you're being advised to make sure that all your affairs are in order when it comes to this relationship, right? So I feel like somebody's going to have to, I don't know, explain something. For some of you guys, you are advised to make sure that everything is in order. That's going to include your taxes. That's going to include your insurance. That's going to include you getting any legal matters settled. I feel like some of you guys are sitting on legal matters or letting them pile up. There's this need for you to begin to deal with these things. Now, the car saying that you absolutely must do this. Right. And this could be this. These scenarios could even play out so you can be a better partner to your Sag. Right. I don't necessarily see that, but I'm just saying maybe that's one of the reasons why you need to clean some stuff up. But we see here there are legal matters that are coming up for you. So there's something approaching. I want to be very clear. A difficult time approaching in the middle of something that you are already in. Now, you guys are being advised that your well-being depends on it. So something has to be taken care of. I would get on it. There's the temperance energy that comes up for you in this relationship. So we know there's tension with Sag. Now, we also know here that there's something, and I hate to get into this, but it talks a little bit. It tells me why I don't think this is love here. With the temperance, it is. Could be your Sagittarius here, or it could be a Cancer. If you look at astrology, the temperance card is going to play out as Cancer. In other news, it's going to play out as Sagittarius. So for some of you guys, you have these thoughts of Sagittarius. You feel like I'm at odds with this person. I'm at odds with my partner. There's something where there's something about an equilibrium between truth and perception. What is true? What is perception? Somebody's looking for a balance in that. There's something about you having secret sex. There's something about sex magic. Somebody's doing sex magic. There's a secret that you don't want to get out. Because you're dealing with an opposing party, right? So you have some idea that you're loud about or you have a lifestyle that you're loud about. But behind closed doors, there seems to be some other story going on here. That's what it looks like, right? The cards say here that you are doing sex magic because of impotency. 
There's something about rituals and secretion. So there's secretion, sexual secretion rituals that are being done by you, Cancer. That's what it says here. Now, I don't know if you, I don't know how, to, I have no idea how that's done. But I can't, I, I, I don't know how that's done. I don't know who does what. I don't know if one person does it because it, it looks like Cancer could have done this to you, Sag. Or they, or, or they feel like you did this to them. However it goes. Remember, this card represents both you guys in two different. So take it how it resonates. Somebody tried to do sex magic or you guys did sex magic. Opposing forces. Those are two parties that don't necessarily agree. It's like oil and water. How can I make them work? It's very hard. You cannot. You can, but you cannot. Not without a whole bunch of watering down and then it becomes crap. So just saying there's something with opposing forces here. You're being asked to find balance between sex and spirit. I feel like somebody could be a sex addict. I hate to say it like that, but this is what I'm feeling. A sex addict to the point where they'll go and have sex with the opposing party. What does that mean? That can mean somebody who is different from you, right? It could be same sex. And I feel like if this is the case here, if this is something with same sex, I feel like somebody's not supposed to be loud and out with it. And somebody's trying to keep that quiet. But it also says control over opposing forces, right? Opposing forces equal opposing demands here. There's something where somebody had a potential to do something in business, make a business grow. With this temperance card for you, Cancer, you had an opportunity to make a business grow. For some of you guys, you accepted this. However, with this offer came a proposal where you had to balance two opposing forces. That means you're going to try and make somebody do something who doesn't agree with it, right? Something like that. It's going to be like, I don't know, hey, ma, hey, dad, how you guys doing? We good. But we need you to make an appointment for the jab. What do you mean make an appointment for the jab? I don't believe in that. I am your parent, and I'm going to make you make that appointment for the jab because that's what I believe. That's what I want. It's something like that that they're trying to get cancer to do, right? Maybe they're trying to make you do something or sad. Cancer could make you, they could feel like you're doing that to them. Take it how it resonates. But this is volatile. These opposing forces are volatile, meaning if anything comes out, it crushes up. It's like, right? It goes all up in like, like that, up in smoke. I'm trying to be very careful with the way I express it because I don't want it to, you know, have anybody think this is about any particular like, you know, event that could have happened in the media. I don't want that. So I'm being very mindful. But we also have something with the sex spirit, something you guys could have had sex and it was some sort of weird sex here. And I feel like there's an overindulgence in sex. And I feel like somebody's using sex to keep somebody around, if you want the truth. Um, there needs to be some sort of balance here. I feel like you guys have split because Cancer's hoping for re uh, reconciliation with the Temperance card. Right? So I feel like you guys could be waiting, hoping that there's some reconciliation with your person. All right? That's the energy that I'm getting. But it also symbolizes moderation. Not doing everything in excess. And I feel like that was the issue here. Now, Cancer, I also see for you, this is a four of swords that comes out reverse. I feel like whatever happened here, right, whatever tension was caused in this relationship, I feel like these losses have hit you. I feel like the loss has started, and I want to be clear about this. The cards say you're already in the middle of something right now, and then there's something else that approaches. This something else approaches, that approaches, is going to hit you. You already have losses, and more losses are going to come. The cards are saying this is going to give you some sort of unhappiness. You guys are going to feel hurt and betrayed by a situation or by a person. Some of you guys are hurt and betrayed by a Libra Aquarius or a Sag. Wait. Libra Aquarius. Wait, did I say that? Libra Aquarius. Yeah, Libra Aquarius or Gemini. Libra, Aquari Libra Aquarius or Gemini. Somebody's going to leave you feeling sad or something like that. I feel like somebody betrayed you, but I also feel like you're now discouraged from moving forward in something, right? But I feel like you guys still want to chase a karmic relationship. Now, to me, this doesn't necessarily feel that bad. But when you go to the temperance card and what it actually represents in terms of this relationship, this is something, some unorthodox relationship or something like that. There's something going on here where... Either the person in the read holds some high position or there's some big shot or something like that and something they don't want something to get out or there's just so much shame involved in it. There's a reason. I don't know why this person is dealing with opposing forces. It doesn't make any sense, but people do it. But in any way, 
there's something here where you guys are confused about this situation. So we get that. Cancer is confused about the situation. For some of you guys, you're the only one who can get yourselves out of a situation because you're confused about something that was done. For some of you guys, you know deep down how you got to this point, but you're still asking yourself, how did this happen? I will tell you this. One of the biggest things with the four swords is somebody needing some psychiatric respite. Some of you guys, you could be incarcerated. There could be a cancer who's currently incarcerated with this situation. We do have a cancer who could be in seek of some mental help and they are in a mental institution, a psych ward. So somebody could be in jail already or prison. Somebody could already be in a psych ward. Somebody could need to go to a psych ward, but being that you're already in something and something else is coming up, you fear exposure. This is your biggest fear, exposure. This is a situation that escalates. It's a situation where your biggest fears are going to be realized here and it brings on humiliation and exposure. You're going to be exposed to spiteful criticism where people are going to say things about you and yet you're still confused about how this happened. The cards are saying here that the only way for you to get out of the situation is to own up to your errors, your past mistakes. For some of you guys, you're in this relationship chasing a Sagittarius, but you haven't told them the truth about everything, right? Or for some of you guys, you are in cahoots. Maybe you work together. Maybe you got a company together, whatever. But somebody is in a mental prison. Somebody is in jail. Somebody has lawsuits coming. The lawsuits are about sex. Sex with opposing influences, forces. So just something completely against the grain, right? Either you stand for something and you get caught doing the, the exact thing that you stand against or something unorthodox that comes out having to do with sex. You want the reconciliation, meaning I want to do this again, right? But you have to control some kind of volatile forces because now whatever is going wrong again with the taxes and the insurance, you get hit again in the pocketbook, four swords reversed. This has a serious impact on a relationship, right? So that's cancer. Let's take a look and see what's going on with Sagittarius in this relationship. Now, Sagittarius, your energy is coming up is brutal, right? You're the emperor reversed here, and this deck is going to be the sovereignty reversed. I'm being told that you are not a ruler. You are not the ruler. You are not the ruler. You believe you are a ruler. You are not a ruler. It says here that you also, too, have some sexual issues, right? So we see that cancer can't get it up or whatever is going on. But we also see that you are suffering some sort of issues as well. You are also impotent. Can't get it up. Can't get the bread to rise or whatever is going on. <laughs> yeah. So it says you two are also suffering from something having to do with sexual dysfunction. The cards say that you do not use your power in a wise way. You're mean about the way you use your power. There's something here about rituals. Now, you also partake in these sex rituals, all right? Because there's something that shows up with you and secretion, some secretion sex ritual. Now, like I said, I don't know if cancer is doing this alone and thinking about you or if you are doing this together. I have no idea what's going on here. But I will tell you, it says that you use your power in a nasty, negative way. The cards say that you were asked to do something risky. It says you were asked to do a ritual or you decided or you regularly do a ritual. This ritual is done on Tuesdays. Hold on, is it Tuesdays? Let me just make sure. Let me go back. Tuesdays and Fridays, you offer a ritual, a sacrifice. Your energy is possessive. You're stubborn. You need to control other people. You could be a victim or, or could have been a victim, right? So you guys could be a victim of something. It says you could be a victim, but it also goes on to say that you could have made somebody else a victim in a situation that you need to examine why you feel the need to control other people. Sag, why are you controlling cancer or trying to? The cards are saying that you have lost perspective on a situation and you are dominating other people. Needlessly, you lost perspective. Big ego. All right. So for some of you guys, this could be an issue in a relationship. You're trying to dominate cancer. You're trying to do whatever you want. You know cancer secrets. It's costing cancer some money. Somebody knows cancer secrets. Now, Saj, I can't guarantee it's you. I, it just might be this person over here, this Taurus that shows up. 
they know a secret about both of y'all, this Taurus. So let's go. So we have the the crone of swords. This is a king of swords reverse. So I want to be clear. We have the emperor reversed here, and that's terrible, right? That's somebody who's bullying, nasty, and all this other stuff. But then we have the king of swords reverse. So this tells me, Sag, either this is your energy where you are brutal, you are nasty. You don't give no what's about nobody. You want to hear what they have to say. It's going to be how you want it to be. The energy shows up as you extending some sort of a business deal to cancer. It says Sagittarius. You approached cancer with a deal. Now, if we go back to cancer's energy, it talks about cancer doing secret magic. It talks about cancer doing something where they have an opportunity to expand a business, right? I have an opportunity to do business. I go to you with a business offer. Cancer now says, great, I have the opportunity to do business. Cancer also, there's something about expansion of a family. There could be a kid out there or somebody's growing a family. Well, separate. Or somebody could have said they're pregnant, something like that, right? What we have here, there's somebody here who made a business deal with a cancer and their plan was to swoop down and be able to buy food for their family, whatever the family needed, right? This card came out reversed. So this deal that was made or offered to cancer, it didn't go through for whatever reason because it says that Sagittarius was not able to swoop down and get food for their family. So they lost this deal. It didn't turn out right. It says here that the Sagittarius went ahead and used some kind of force or I use force. This person's used force in the past. I use forces. It also says that this energy with this deal not going the way they wanted to or this agreement, something that you are patiently waiting for to come through, it doesn't pan out. So this person gets very angry about it. They become a harsh opponent. So now they're not a business partner. Now Sagittarius Cancer is your opponent. I am your opponent now because I made a deal with you. I expected something from you. You didn't get it done or I expected you to shut up. I expected you to keep this quiet. And it feels like you didn't keep it quiet. So Sagittarius is in a sense pissed. I become a harsh opponent, says Sag. I am relentless in my cruelty. I am relentless in my desire to win. I feel like for some of you guys, there's going to be some open confrontation, meaning you are going to have it out. I'm going to have it out with you. Cancer, you might be running or hiding like that, it, right? Because this person is very vicious. This is something about open confrontation. This Sag could be looking for you. They can't wait to see you. Listen, I'm going to show you how to hood play. But this is also a Sagittarius that comes across as somebody who is corrupt. So that tells me this person's involved in corruption there was something having to do with sex in a business deal. Sex, business deal. This, this person gives me the opportunity to start a business, grow a business, keep my money flowing, something like that. But you get hit with a bad deal. You're dealing with a Sagittarius who's corrupt, a con man. Most of all, this Sagittarius is susceptible to bribery. So whoever you are, you got this high farant over here that's checking for y'all, both of y'all. Now, I do see what comes up. Right? Because remember, we're talking about a very cruel Sagittarius, or this is Sag showing me how you treated them, Cancer. You heard? That could be that could be you. A lot of times these cards, these shows are reversed. Like you'll be here, they'll be there. Like, oh, who was the other line? That's fine. It's probably the way I pulled the cards, but I'd rather keep it this way so you guys can actually think about the read. So this is cruel energy, right? Somebody who's a bully, somebody who's nasty, somebody who's corrupt, somebody who knew they were corrupt before they even offered you this deal. This person, their ten of wands miraculously disappears. Now your issue is a four of swords reversed. This is losses hitting you hard. This is you being unhappy, you feeling betrayed by Sagittarius because Sagittarius presented you a bad deal. For some of you guys, you didn't know Sag, you just sold. Yeah, Sag is great. They would never do me wrong. They're worth this, 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 and this. But this person's shady. This person is corrupt. This person is about open confrontation. I will come for your neck like that. But this person is also a con man. So you did business with a con man and you got conned. I will tell you this. This Sagittarius is evil as they are. Now, either they done switched up and, and I don't know, the must high blessed them or something. Or they somehow stripped your pockets. 
because they have the Ten of Wands that comes up reverse here. The Ten of Wands, this is a burden lifted, unexpected freedom. So unexpectedly, this corrupt person comes out clean, right? Things have shifted for this person. Pressure is gone. The stress is gone. No more stress. While you broke over here about to go into a psychiatric ward, Cancer, while you are worried about your information being exposed, you know, like what you do in the dark, the conflicting interests or whatever you got going on, right? As you fear exposure, as you fear spiteful criticism, this person is walking off into the sunset. Their burdens have lifted, right? So this is also this person feeling resentment a little bit, right? Because they weren't able to get exactly what they wanted. They could be even blaming. Sad, you could be blaming somebody else for whatever happened to you. I believe the argument is I shouldn't have had these burdens in the first place. Of course, they should have been lifted off me, but look who put them on me. Look at this, look at that. So you're blaming somebody else, but I feel like there was sex had here. And this is where we get this deal with sex or something like that, because it says Sagittarius comes up feeling ill. It says here you are suffering the consequences. You are suffering the consequences of your actions. This could be ill health, right? Some of you guys were sick to start with, so... Whatever burnout you had, which also shows up, something about burnout, it aggravates the sickness. So I see something here about sickness coming up, right? So there's some resentment. Even though you are not responsible, even though somebody was trying to put something on you, Sag, it turned out not to be you, but you also had somebody intervene for you, I believe. That's what it looks like. We have the high four aunt that comes out reversed. Some of you guys are dealing with somebody named Tara or Tara, right? This is something about somebody, I don't know what this is here, but I'm going to throw it out there for somebody who might need this. Unable to remain alive through the body. Something about untraditional treatment or untraditional relationship. Unable to remain alive through the body. Somebody could have passed or somebody is going to pass or something like that. We have a Taurus energy out here. Maybe they're not feeling well. But I feel like this Taurus energy is the energy that came in between you guys, right? Because we're talking about external forces. We're talking about somebody who is unable to remain alive. This person could be sick because of an untraditional relationship. What does that mean? Untraditional relationship. Traditional, I guess, according to societal beliefs would be man and woman, right? For some of you guys, somebody had um, questionable relationships or unusual relationships unusual desires that don't they they're not normal to regular society not not according to the way regular folks see it this is some other stuff so somebody had an untraditional relationship could have been same sex and i feel like this is what this is now you guys as a couple had sex with this person or you guys both had sex with this person at different times and this person has stories so we have the high front reverse here some of you guys may have to tell your story in court about this illness or something like that. But we also have, this could be a mother here who has no compassion. There could be a mother out here telling it they don't have any compassion. I will say this also. That could be a baby's mama. That could be somebody's mother. This person is being accused of stealing somebody's identity. Something about originality being questioned, right? Somebody presented themselves as a man when they're a woman, vice versa. That's one piece of it. This person does tantric rituals, acts of transgression, offered as a sacrifice. You guys could have offered this person as a sacrifice at some point, and now it's coming back to bite you in your behinds. That's what it looks like. But at the end of the day, even though it bites you both in the behind, Sag still gets mad. Like, why would you put me in this situation? I'm pissed at you. But Cancer loses the money. They take those hits. You take those losses. If I had to guess, I would say that there's a possibility because this Sagittarius is so corrupt. And because we have somebody here who did not act in wisdom, they could not cultivate their own wisdom because they copied somebody else's stuff. I feel like these two could have been in cahoots and had a deal to get you losses. Who are these two? That would be a Taurus and that would be you, Sag. Or it could have been an Aries Leo Sag. I'm going to say it's you, Sag made some kind of a agreement with a Taurus to put this on a cancer, something like that. It goes something like that. But in any case, somebody does not, they're not able to give birth to their own ideas. Both you guys might have some creative stumps right now where you're stuck, you can't move. 
I'm not being creative. I'm not giving birth to anything that is, I don't know, I don't want to say relevant, anything that is profound enough for me to actually represent to the world or give to the world. Some of you guys are still working on that. But I will tell you this, what you guys have in common with this high front reverse, this person is on a path to being a sex worker. This could be a younger person, but I feel like this is also some religious figure or head of an organization who could be questioning somebody's immaturity. You guys might be following somebody who could be some sort of a spiritual leader. They're a false leader. They're not original. This person has some problems, right? This person may even have problems with the law. This is a false preacher who has issues with the law. They have court cases out there. They have pending charges. They're a false preacher. And this person is a sex worker. The high front reverse per this text, this person is on the road to being a sex worker. That was the agreement that was made. This is a story this sex worker can tell. I slept with both of you. There's something untraditional about this relationship. Those cards. All right. Somebody's not going to take a chance. I'm trying to figure something out before I... See, that's what I'm saying. The reason why I pulled certain cards is because it becomes a darker read. This to me is not really romantic. This is somebody... This is two people who had sex with a sex worker. This person could not cultivate any originality. This person purposely, this high front reverse purposely gave you the wrong information. All right. They wanted to use your status to manipulate you. So this is somebody who's beyond reproach here. This high front reverse is beyond reproach. They could be a Taurus. There's something untraditional about the way they live. In this text, this read. Hold on. Let me turn that one over. Let me shuffle. I want to see what's going on here because this time our stuff is untraditional and you got people chasing folks in relationships and equilibriums. Give me the temperance card. What's up? Because we see the eight of swords too in cancer. I'm going to tell you too. I was like, before I even pull that, I want to tell you too. There was something that you did in the past here. I don't know. For some of you guys, you had a case. You had a court case that nobody knows about. It had to do with the hostage or kidnapping or somebody had a jail record from the past. That's one of the things too. So I feel like there are several things that are piling up here. Somebody tried to kidnap somebody. This could have even been for a college or so. Who knows? You know, one of them people that be on the frat team or whatever, they pledge. So if that's your thing, knock yourself out. I would do it responsibly because I, I think that they're looking at things differently these days in regards to how you're recruited into everything and that includes frats nobody wants to be financially responsible for the knuckleheads who do stupid stuff and make the rest of the organization or group look bad right so that's who you're dealing with young immature dumb using their titles mm. untraditional somebody who's meditating i don't like the way you pray something untraditional about that a rejection of religion, a rejection of meditation. Somebody could be full of themselves and they're trying to silence somebody. You will shut up. And this person is in a cult. So cancer, it says here that you're in a cult. You reject certain things about meditation. You reject religion. You want to silence people. You want to silence the cult. I feel like the cult is going to tell on you. So you're against meditation. You're against religion. I don't believe in these things, right? I want them silenced. You're trying to silence people of spirituality, whether it be meditation, spiritualists, whether it be religion, people who are very specific about the religions. You want them silenced. But you also have the cult silence too. So you want control. You want everybody silenced. You want even the cults. You want the religions, the cults, the meditation. You want control, cancer. That's what it says here. You want to control the world. I'm going to put it how it belongs. You want everybody silenced. I'm just going to put those there for now. You want everybody silenced because you don't want something to come out. Something about a kidnapping. Something about holding somebody hostage. Some of you guys could have locked somebody in a room. Sag, you could have been locked in a room by a cancer. Sag, I see that there's some corruption here. I see you also had sex with this Taurus person. Part of a society. You too. See, you have cancer who wants to shut the societies up. They want everybody to shut up. They want the uh, they want the little terror readers to shut up. They want the church to shut up. They want the cult to shut up. All y'all is going to shut up about what it is here I did. You, Sagittarius, also come out belonging to some secret society where you honor them or something like that. 
And where do I want to put that? I'm going to put that right there. Let me see. I'm going to get the rest of the message, too, so I can understand what's going on here. Give me more about Sagittarius with this uh, a third party. Okay, so somebody's married. And we got that because we see the wedding ring. Somebody's married and have the third party. You might have been a third party, Sagittarius. All right. Or both you guys could be friends who had sex with the same person. This person could be the third party. That person was probably beyond reproach or head of some organization or something like that. Give me more for Sag. We also have here mistress. Yep, confirmation is some cheating going on. Somebody had a mistress. Sad, you could have been the mistress or you're upset about a mistress or what you're telling me is the high four reverse is the mistress. I feel like you're the mistress. I feel like this is not a traditional relationship. Somebody could have had some parent abuse. I do see that there's an older person that shows up here in this read, the high four aunt. This is going to be an older person who gives unwanted advice. Let me just make sure that's right. But I will say this. is somebody who gives unwanted advice, right, and they're untraditional. This could be a mother. With no compassion, which brings us to parental abuse, right? So we had that. Mm, I don't know where I'm going to put that. I don't kiss it. One, two, three. Yeah, okay. All right. So, Sag, parental abuse came out on your end. Maybe you guys have an abusive parent or something like that, or somebody that you're still dealing with within the family, right? A family matriarch. Or you could be a mother, but the cards do say this is something about a mother here. A mother who has no compassions, a mother or somebody who has problems with the law. Now, for some of you guys, I will tell you this person is on their way to being a sex worker. They've had sex for money. The cards also say, and I want to point this out too, this person sleeps with people for money. This is a prostitute. Not only do they sleep with people for money, they sleep with people to get the information. There's a Taurus sex worker who's sleeping with people to get the information. For some of you guys, this person also gives unwanted advice. I feel like this could be one person or the other or somebody who's older who could have been a sex worker. But I feel like this is somebody who's a sex worker. This person's a false leader. For some of you guys, you're going to have some answering to do to the court, especially about the taxes and stuff. There's some answering you have to do to a court or a group of people with this high for aunt. Some of you guys are trying to keep this out of court. We see that there's an attempt to get everybody silent, says cancer. Everybody going to shut up. Everybody. I will do what I want. All you will shut up. Nobody's going to hold me accountable or whatever, you know, like that. Give me the common energy between these two. As a matter of fact, give me the energy under the high four aunt because this says it's a sex worker. This sex worker or an oppressive older person who gives unwanted or ask, unasked for advice. This person was a sex worker. Both of y'all slept with a sex worker. All right. The sex worker was a tourist who got released from jail. Somebody got released from handcuffs. So this person has a criminal history. Well, this person, you know, I, I guess that comes with the territory, I guess. I don't know. Give me more on this energy. The high front reverse. They got released from jail. This person is an arsonist. They have some kind of criminal past with arson. We also have here racism is not patriotism. This person was probably arrested for maybe um, protesting. All right. Or maybe they have some ideas about racism. I don't know. Racism is not patriotism. Maybe they have some ideas. That maybe they think racism is patriotism. Maybe this person's a racist. I don't know. Crimes against animals. Yeah, that could be another piece to the untraditional desires or unorthodox des uh, desires. This person could have been having some sort of, you know, they could hurt animals during their rituals. Remember, this, this person is going into rituals on Tuesdays and Fridays, you know, spinning around with salt in a costume. So, Somebody committed crimes against animals. An animal could have been a sacrifice because remember, this emperor reverse is advised that he he or she has to make a sacrifice before some meeting in order to get into something or whatever. The, for this business deal, there had to be a sacrifice. Now, the sacrifice looks like it could have been a Taurus. This Taurus could have been their high four aunt, but they're reversed. So some sort of a false leader who was arrested before going to get arrested for arson saying that they're not racist when they are they have some reservations and also crimes against animals it could have been sex with 
you know. Hmm. Interesting. And we also have here Trickster. So somebody could do magic or try and create some sort of an illusion in this connection. So I wanted to clarify those cards. Hmm. Is there anything else? I feel like I covered love down here. We already know about that, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna put those where they need to be. I am gonna pull these combos, so give me a message, please. What does cancer? What does cancer have to say to Sagittarius? Please keep in mind here that this is an abusive relationship here, right? This is abusive. This is somebody who's immature. Whatever this emperor uh, did, Sagittarius, they were immature doing it. Or your energy, you did something out of immaturity here. And then you went into a whole nother mode. You guys got the king of swords here. So that's somebody who's a complete corrupt, just a corrupt person. Complete corruption. Right, so very corrupt, and I'm lost in your eyes. So Cancer saying that they're lost in your eyes. That could be why they're still chasing you, even though they know they're being tricked. They don't care. Like you know, they don't they don't really care. They know their pockets are being run dry, and either they don't know it and they're dumb or something. I don't know. But it says I'm angry at you. So I'm lost in your eyes, but I'm angry at you. I think Cancer starts to wake up to what's going on. They're like, I am not. Give me more. But Cancer. Give me more. Past. That was my life before. That was, well, that was, that was 40 years ago. It don't matter. You still did it. You still gonna pay past life. Okay. Hope you ask the Lord for forgiveness. He gonna forgive you. He gonna forgive you more when you're in your jail cell. You can pray all you want in there. You can pray in between breakfast, lunch, dinner, and whatever else you be doing. I don't know. Sagittarius, what do you have to say to cancer? I don't feel whole when I'm with you. Something's off with you. But remember, this is a manipulative Sag, so. You're like, I'm lost in you. They're like, yeah, I don't feel whole with you. Now, I'm, I'm looking at it from a relationship perspective now, like a romantic one. Give me more. We also have here, commit to me. I'm not going to commit to you. All right, well. Listen, Sag is straight up. I'm not going to commit to you because they don't want to. This is about a bad business deal. I am in despair. Yeah, because this deal, whatever happened here, got found out. There's something about an illness that came out with a sex worker. The sex worker is right here. The sex worker was a false prophet. So you probably had some missionary that was on TV preaching with a rag on her head. Right? And then she was lifting up her church skirt, whatever the moo moo is she'd be wearing. And she was lifting up her skirt after service. So she went out here and she was banging out cancer and banging out Sagittarius and she was also banging out diseases too and it came back. So somebody doesn't want that to get out. The, the animal crimes, the, the cults knowing. Too many people know about this and now cancer, it's like you're going to get in trouble for this but you're also dealing with a vicious Sagittarius who made a deal with the sex worker to make you go down for it. So give me more common energy. What do we both have to say to each other? I don't remember you. Hell, you don't. I bet you remember now. Nah, don't you? You remember. I don't remember you. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, yes, you do. It was that one year and 19, whatever, whatever. Yup. Yup. When you was over there with that dog. Yup. Remember you set that place on fire. Oh, come on. You remember you set that place on fire. Remember you got arrested for protesting? Yeah. Remember you said you had it expunged and it was covered up? Yeah, remember we remember we went and picked that we had that truck and we picked up that kid off the corner and yeah, brought him into another state. Or remember we picked up those couple of little kids? Yeah. Like we were just taking a casual ride. You said you were dropping them off. The kids didn't talk, they would sleep the whole time. You were literally tricking people on these rides, like a trickster. You didn't even tell them. Anyway. There's an oppressive older person that comes in between you guys. They use their title for, to do false things. They made a deal with the Sagittarius who's just as corrupt. This Sagittarius is susceptible to bribery. So Sag made a deal with the Taurus to tell it all because they were evil anyway. And they feel like Cancer messed up their deal or something like that. Or the deal didn't go the way they wanted it to. It's something like that. Anyway, 
I know this one was a little weird, but that's all I have for you guys. I want to thank you so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Please. All right, I love you guys. Bye.